So the good news is we age. <clears throat> the bad news is how we age. And by the way, the Royals just got a hit. <clears throat> so I'm 60 years old, and a year ago, this was the list of health issues I was dealing with. At that time, my ambition physically was to be able to do a handstand in the middle of a room. So my wake-up routine was I check the alignment of my head and neck, pull on my belly button, put my feet on the floor, a hand on a table to stand up, use a handrail while going downstairs, check my hips are square when I pet an animal or so forth. Then in March, I met through a friend of mine, Bob Cooley, who's developed a resistance flexibility strength training, or RFST. So I went to one class at Yoga Soup. I felt instant benefits of better circulation and sensation ease of movement. From my introductory experience, I took a 16-hour training class, and I got access to movements in my shoulder I hadn't had in 40 years. In April, as part of my continuing education, I got an assisted stretch that made me 20 movements of my legs. The next morning, I rolled out of bed down the stairs, performing all of my morning routine, right up to reaching in the cabinet for my breakfast when I realized I had done none of my regular routine. 20 movements and a decade of my aging symptoms in my skeleton and my muscles had disappeared. Honest, still gone. So the basic activity involves stretching your muscles in a way that rearranges your fascia. Stretching in this case is defined by you contract a muscle and then overcome it with force. This causes fascia to rearrange itself and as much emphasis is on making it possible for your muscle to shorten as to lengthen. So what is it? Fascia is the matrix in which most of our other body parts float. It is mostly in our back and on our sides, but it's throughout our bodies. And when it's healthy, it's malleable, adaptive, and it serves like a spring we can load with our muscles. When it isn't, it's dry, stiff, and impedes the movement, restricting our, our actual freedom. So these are the things that happen, and the flexibility is thus defined as freedom of movement, strength and coordination throughout a range of motion as opposed to just a range of motion. For example, dancers have a great range of motion, but it's mostly accomplished through stress on ligaments, joints, and cartilage, which is why they have such short, painful careers. It's common in this activity to get sore, but not stiff. Also, you don't focus on just the muscle that's tight or doesn't move easily, as all muscles are part of groups that work together. So when your hamstring doesn't get long, it's also because your quadriceps can't get short. A limb might not expand because a muscle group has been substituted for a variety of reasons, injuries, etc. So this is what's possible for you. You can be the author of your own well-being. <clears throat> you can address whatever aspects of your health you'd like through this activity. While you work with a practitioner, that person and others assisting you are relating to your body and what you and your body share with them. Your effort and engagement are key elements in producing the results. You and everyone who might do this can feel freer in their body and be more comfortable. So this, this is what you do. And, the, and pain is an indicator of a boundary, not something that's embraced, glamorized, or trivialized like in many activities. While you can be discomforted, your pain will be, is to be avoided. You find where your resistance is greater, you get faster benefits. Generally, all tissue can be restored. These are the things you can do. You can learn to self-stretch. You can work and be assisted by trained and certified uh, humans, take advantage of their experience. And you can create a group of peers that in turn stretch each other. There you go, the giants have won. Congratulations, all you fans. <clears throat> So now, this is the thing about it. This is unlike most of our existence in which our resistance to anything causes it to persist. In this activity, your active and vigorous resistance helps alter and disappear your concern. Resistance becomes part of a solution instead of denial. Some of you might be familiar with denial. A useful mechanism until it's not. So there's more. You can have an independent path to change yourself starting with tissue as opposed to the way you think. You can develop yourself as you choose. You can help others and get stronger, healthier, and feel freer in your body at the same time. You can create a community that is based solely on well-being with no other agendas. So now I'm going to give you a chance to try this out. So you want to turn to the person next to you, and one of you be A and the other one B. And A, you want to straighten your arm. B, you want to hold their wrist. Come on, folks. <clears throat> the A, curl your bicep. B, you resist, but let them move. The contraction of a muscle is what strengthens it. Now, A, hold your arm, but let B pull it straight. That, that extension, that's stretching. That's resistance stretching, OK? So you tighten your muscle and let the other person overcome it. Now switch. Switch, trade off, let the other person feel it. So that all you bees, let the other person hold your wrist and pull it in. 
the force required to overcome your strength is about three times what it is you can actually lift. And that difference is the fascia, okay? That's what we're rearranging. So this is the idea, you help yourself. It's your body, your business. It's up to you to be the authority for yourself. <clears throat> so this isn't for everybody. If you want to be treated or take a pill, you don't want to do this. <clears throat> you have to pay attention. Unlike when you, you say run and talk on the phone about business or you work out and pretend that you're doing something else, your benefit is when you actually give your attention and focus to the activity. So this can be done anywhere. There are two places in town that you currently offer classes in this, Yoga Soup and the Genius of Flexibility, which is the shop of the man that developed it. You get pain without, you get gain without pain. I'm not gonna mess that up for you. You build your muscle strength, you get freedom of movement, you can restore your tissue, and you can have endless variations because your body is constantly changing as you do the activity. It doesn't get boring, say, like riding a bicycle. Now, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, you want change. This happens to be a way that which you can actually start with your tissue, okay, and be the change that you want to be in the world. Personally, I like to feel better in my body. It's a lot more fun to wake up this way. And I welcome any of you, if you would like to talk to me about, you know, my experience or how you might, you know, try this out, let me know. Thank you so much, as particularly you participants.